Afternoon guys, a beautiful afternoon here in Goa. You can probably see the sea behind me and see the breeze going on. I thought I'd do a really quick video on TB and the three main types of TB to think about when you're categorizing someone who presents with suspected TB. You have your pulmonary TB number one, you have your extra pulmonary TB number two, and you have your latent TB number three. Now pulmonary TB or lung TB is the one that you'll think about, the one that we see most often. Classic features like cough, hemoptysis, weight loss, night sweats. We tend to think about TB when we see these kind of symptoms. Extra pulmonary TB is probably pretty much TB in any other part of the body. It could be TB in the lymph glands, it could be TB in the pleura, it could be TB in the GI system, it could be TB in the bones, it could be TB in the central nervous system, it could be TB, renal TB for example, pretty much anywhere else apart from the lungs. And it may be non-specific symptoms again like weight loss and night sweats and you may find lymph glands for example, you know, any kind of vague history of symptoms, particularly with travel, think about extra pulmonary TB. And the third one to think about is latent TB. Latent TB is dormant at that point, latent TB is not infectious at that point, and latent TB is asymptomatic at that point. But the reason that it's so important is that around about 10% of latent TBs can reactivate at some point. So it's one that you need to keep an eye out for. So three main types of TB, pulmonary TB, extra pulmonary TB, and latent TB. Much more like this on our CSA and AKT and PLAB audiobooks, uh, webinars, and courses. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.